Hi there guys, Ralph here with 4K Equipment. Today I've got an intro video excitingly over the new iDig 2D Plus using iDig Spotman up there and any base will work with it and we're testing network corrections currently but uh, we have a base located on the other side of our parking lot over here. Um, basically what this means is that you can mark a point at any height using iDig's 2D software and you can walk around with your tracks and it will keep that same level. So let me hop in the cab and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Alrighty, I'm up here in the cab now. As you see, uh, we are running a Connect series. The Touch series is not able to be upgraded to this 2D Plus and 3D options here. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick intro to the 2D Plus, uh, what it looks like in use and what you're able to do with it. I'll have another intro video coming out over the 3D. And then also for the 2D Plus, I'll have an installation guide, uh, more in depth of how to use it. This is mainly just what it looks like, uh, but you do need a touch series or a connect series, not a touch series in order to upgrade to the 2D Plus. And what you'll see here is we're actually Bluetooth connected to that uh, device that is up on the top of the cab there. Um, it has all of your information here. It shows that it is getting a fix from our base that's located uh, further over on site. And like I said previously, uh, we're testing to see with network corrections whether you even need a base with it as far as accuracy goes. First time setup with a base is gonna be way more accurate in general, but I'll get more into those details later. Um, this is what the 2D Plus looks like on the main screen here. You have your inaccuracies for your heading, uh, your height, and um, your side-to-side -side accuracy there. I don't know if you can see those very well. But basically, um, you can use it just as 2D. Um, so what we can do is we can lower this boom down. Here, let me put you right there. So I can mark my spot anywhere here. So let's say, uh, let's go on the top of this pallet. Here, let me raise it up a little bit. And then I am going to come over here and zero. And then I'm gonna turn off the beeps here just so you can hear me more clearly. Okay, so now we're fluttering around 0 0.01, 0 0.02 um, using a GPS corrections with the sensors. So now, uh, just like 2D, I can raise it up and it'll tell me how far off I am from that point. Or I can actually raise my blade and track around. Oh, let's see, not using my feet here. I'm gonna track over to the left side of it a little bit over this hill that I'm on now using the sensors in the cab and the corrections from that sensor on top of the cab I'm going to lower my cutting edge back onto the same point and if I don't push the board down it should be close to zero and that is exactly what it is and so it's actually on the same point even though my cab is at a different elevation I'm on a hill over here and uh, there's plenty of use cases for this. Um, basically, you don't have to bench anymore. If the point that you benched off is exactly what you're looking for, uh, that can be absolutely invaluable. So what I can do is I can throw my tracks parallel to this ditch over here. And now that I'm parallel, I can rotate to the side. Now I'm gonna go down with my bucket that cutting edge is my height and accuracy. And I can see uh, that is under what it was. So let me actually put it on the pallet, which is actually closer anyway. It's over here, and then down, up, and then down a little bit more. And here we are reading uh, just right at it. And it is just on top of that pallet down there. So what I can do, is if I had a trench right here with that same uh, level, I've got my blades running per perpendicular to the line that I'm cutting here. So I can just go down the ditch here and then I can see, oh, I went up in elevation. So now all I'd have to do is while looking at the screen and the bucket, just go down to that same height and my laser level or my LED bar over here is also giving me these updates so it says that I'm on grade right here and that is parallel if I hop out of the cab here real quick 
that is the same height as what I benched off over there. So you can actually track along a trench, keeping the same height. Um, there's a ton of other use applications, but basically you don't have to bench anymore. Um, there are more requirements, obviously. You gotta get that uh, iDig Spotman Bluetooth connected setup, and you have to get that Spotman affix. But once you get those things going, uh, theoretically you don't have to bench anymore if you have a known point that you're running everything as a reference off of. So yeah, that is the intro video. Uh, once again, I'll come out with a more in-depth video here shortly going over how to install it and other uh, use cases, tips and tricks, all that good stuff. And then yeah, uh, thanks for watching.